Today's English Bible lesson is taken from St. John, chapter 11, verses from 29, 9th verse onwards. As soon as she heard that, she arose quickly and came unto him. Now Jesus was not yet come into the town, but was in that place where Martha met him. The Jews then, which were with her in the house, and comforted her when they saw Mary that she rose up hastily and went out, followed her, saying, She goeth unto the grave to weep there. Then when Mary was come where Jesus was and saw him, she fell down at his feet, saying unto him, Lord, if thou hadst been here, my brother had not died. When Jesus therefore saw her weeping, and the Jews also weeping, which came with her, he groaned in the spirit and was troubled, and said, Where have ye laid him? They said unto him, Lord, come and see. Jesus wept. Then said the Jews, Behold, how he loved him. And some of them said, could not this man which opened the eyes of the blind have caused that even this man should not have died? Jesus therefore again groaning in himself cometh to the grave. It was a cave and a stone lay upon it. Jesus said, Take ye away the stone, Martha, the sister of him that was dead saith unto him, Lord, by this time he stinketh, for he hath been dead four days. Jesus saith unto her, Said I not unto thee, that if thou wouldest believe, thou shouldest see the glory of God. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid, and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me, and I knew that thou hearest me always, but because of the people which stand by, I said it, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. And when he thus had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come, come forth. And he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with grave clothes, and his face was bound about with a napkin. Jesus saith unto, him, unto them, Loose him and let him go. Then many of the Jews which came to Mary and had seen the things, which Jesus did, believed on him. But some of them went their ways to the Pharisees and told them what things Jesus had done. Then gathered the chief priests and the Pharisees a council and said, What do we? For this man doeth many miracles. If we let him thus alone, all men will believe on him, and the Romans shall come and take away both our place and nation. And one of them named Caiaphas, being the high priest, that same year said unto them, Ye know nothing at all, nor consider that it is exped expedient for us that one man should die for the people and that the whole nation perish not and this spake he not of himself but being high priest that year he prophesied that Jesus should die for that nation and not for that nation only but that also he should gather together in one the children of God that were scattered abroad. 
then from the day for they took counsel together for to put him to death jesus therefore walked no more openly among the jews but went thence unto a country near to the wilderness into a city called ephraim and there continued with his disciples and the jews passover was nigh at hand and many went out of the country up to jerusalem before the passover to purify themselves then sought they for jesus and speak among themselves as they stood in the temple what think ye that he will not come to the feast feast now both the chief priests and the pharisees had given a commandment that if any man knew where he were he should show it that they might take him here in the bible lesson